the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Can I tell you this? There is more than sufficient grace. My dear people, let me admit to you truly, I know many of you have heard many prophetic words about 2022. Don't think those prophetic words are a lie. Most of them are true. However, let me show you something that I have taught you here that the prophecy of scripture sustains a unique ability to veto and redefine the believer's reality. Are we together now? Yes. When you keep quiet, you will be a victim. Most of the men and women of God who speak within the boundary of scripture, I'm not just endorsing everybody, but I'm just saying there are people who are communicating the counsel of God and they are not lying. Some of those people came from the secret place and they are telling you this and that and that. You don't just hear and say, oh, so what do we do? And wait for it to come and happen. No. If I tell you rain is coming, what do you do? You check whether your window is open. You close it. If you must be outside, you get an umbrella. It's unwise to know rain is coming and the rain still beats you. What the, 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 the privilege information was wasted. Can I tell you this? Like never before, one of the things I know Satan wants to do is to disgrace believers and make it look like we have been believing a lie. I'm telling you this. I can tell you this as a man of God. Satan wants to see that believers are weary. Innocent pastors in ministry, no results, nothing happening. Sincere believers who love the Lord, you start a walk and it looks like you are struggling. Nothing is happening. As a mother, as a family person, when you have three or four children come to meet you with school fees, pastor, you have not paid your school fees. And you stand there and almost feel stupid for serving the Lord. How about mysterious illnesses that just eat up finances of families? We're going to take a few minutes to pray this thing into our lives. And please hear me, beloved. Do not be in a hurry to just run around. I want you to stay and pray. This year, from a human standpoint, I know the things I've seen. This year comes with a lot of challenges, peculiar challenges. I can tell you this as a man of God. I have seen it. But the Bible says, listen carefully. The Bible says, a thousand shall fall by thy side. Do you know what it means for 1,000 people to fall by your side? And only you standing? And 10,000 by your right side. He said, but none shall hurt you. You shall stand and behold the reward of the wicked the first prayer tonight is to exempt yourself and then as a responsible ambassador of the kingdom to begin to contribute your quota of intercession and spiritual investment over the territory to say lord because i am here we decree and we declare are you ready to pray please rise up on your feet First, thank the Lord for the word you have heard. Thank him for this charge that you have heard. Thank him for this charge that you have heard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, we're going to pray two prayer points. And then I'll just carry out a prophetic instruction that God gave me. The Lord gave me an instruction 
that I should rebuke the spirit of death. So I want to pay attention because there is a spirit that actually kills men. Truly there is. And one of the things that the devil wants to use to scare and threaten people with is death. That enemy. You see that? This is why God anointed us. That in addition to your personal spiritual growth, you come under that prophetic climate that is able to speak. We are not just speaking empty words. There is a throne that backs what we are saying. Hallelujah. None of you will die. I'm saying it again. None of you under the sound of my voice will die. And anyone in partnership with demon spirits anyone in partnership to bring you down to the grave and discourage many people in the name of Jesus Christ this night the cross of the Lord falls upon their heads are you now ready to pray I'd like you to begin to declare that this year is my year of marvelous light name every aspect of your life ministry marriage children business go ahead and declare by the power of the holy spirit it is my year of marvelous light in the name of jesus supernatural insight into the mysteries of the kingdom understanding of the ways of god the administration of the life and the power of god within my heart and within my body direction 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 even by the spirit go ahead and pray this is the year for supernatural empowerment i am not weak strengthened by the power of the holy ghost decree and declare it is not a negative year for me i prophesy by the power of god light shine light shine light shine command the light to shine in every area of your life light shine over my spiritual life this is a year for high level spiritual ascendance pray over your health and your body in the name of jesus my body is preserved preserved by the power of the holy ghost kept by the power of god kept by the power of god no demon no devil no cause no enchantment will prevail over my body in the name of jesus pray pray for your family cover them with this prophetic word as for me and my house we will not only serve the lord we will serve in safety we will serve in peace in the name of jesus in jesus name i pray now listen to me you are going to mention every month from january to december give it an instruction by the word of god you're going to command it to shine take away every negative thing from your january from your february go ahead pray january i speak to you you are the month that the lord has made february the month that the lord has made march the month that the lord has made april may june i decree and declare disaster be taken from my months shame be taken out of my months death be taken out of my months declare retrogression be taken out of my mouth this honor be taken out of my mouth by the power of the holy ghost 
from January till December my life and my days will bring glory to the name of the Lord Prophesy as I travel in the air, I decree and declare safety and preservation as I drive on land, safety and preservation by the sea, safety and preservation in my coming out, in my going in, safety and preservation. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Please don't be tired, we're praying. Now hear me, the season of marvelous light also means an unveiling of what is hidden. Are you ready to declare that everything in my life that God has put within me that should find expression to bring glory to the name of the Lord and to be a blessing to me that has been covered hitherto. This year you are unveiled. Go ahead and pray. Every gift, every anointing, every unction locked up within your spirit every business idea every potential locked up within your spirit find visibility let the light reveal let the light reveal let the light reveal let the light reveal in the name of jesus Hallelujah. 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 I want you to pray you're going to mention as much as you can the names of your loved ones and all who are within your care and declare light father expose anything that wants to keep these people down wants to keep them limited in the name of Jesus let light come let it expose and let it lift them go ahead open your mouth pray for your parents pray for your children mention them by name You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. Holy Ghost is brooding. Over every darkness, you are causing light to shine from God. Please pray. This year, my children will not give me headache. They will not give me trouble. Let there be light in my family. Let there be light over my parents. Let there be light over my loved ones. As for me and my house, over every Hallelujah. 
hallelujah please listen to me listen to me apologize i know we've stretched a few minutes but please listen to me everybody is going to pray over the works of your hands don't say it does not matter the only reason why israel goes to egypt is hunger every time there is hunger can i tell you this listen it is important one of the reasons why we pray that the supplies of heaven find expression in our lives so that it can grant us the stability to not compromise can i tell you the truth many believers under pressure will do things they will not believe they will do it's easy to point fingers at people and say oh this one this politician this one but we have to pray even jacob in genesis 42 from verse 1 and 2 jacob said why do you look at yourselves like this i have heard that there is corn in egypt he said get down thither and buy for us so that we will live and not die even a prophet when he is hungry he will send his future to egypt you've heard me say it i will never be the man of god who will only focus on the spiritual development of god's people and not care about their well-being christianity is, is a responsible faith practice that attempts or that that covers the love of god and his intention is to bring holistic holistic life and joy to us one of the major areas where god's people right now as i speak not something that will happen is in this area of finance and economy the bible says the borrower is slave to the lender that means if i want to make you a slave i don't have to make you a slave by making you a slave I only make you a slave by making you a borrower are we together there are many believers who are in terrible financial situations i've had the honor and the privilege to pray with a number of people especially in recent times people who love god sincerely but the bills will not let them rest can you pray that one prayer before i speak over your life listen you are going to decree and declare that in the name of jesus this is the season where you will see the manifestation of God's grace even in the area of supplies pray for yourself pray for your ministry pray for your business please do not entertain lack and want it will affect your convictions pray open the heavens oh God grant wisdom grant relationships supernatural ideas strange manifestations of favor bring your people to their wealthy place bring your people to their heaven the slavery of lack and want and poverty we cost you by the god of heaven this is a season of light your people will experience supplies supernatural supplies hallelujah 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 let me encourage you therefore listen to me when the flood when the flood was going to come god called one man called noah and said noah flood is going to come upon the earth and is going to kill everything everything that has life therefore build an ark of three stories of gopher wood and he gave him specific dimensions and when he built the ark it was never God's desire to save only eight people there is nowhere written in the Bible where God said it is only eight people I wanted to save the stubbornness of the fallen man is what landed them in that flood the ark could be able to take as many people the animals obeyed but men disobeyed 
the animals did not even wait to experiment with the rain from the bush they started coming two by two seven by seven into the ark but men they began to laugh and to mock them and the bible says god closed that door can i tell you this i don't mean to be arrogant but one of the reasons why god sent us to this city is because of these times we're not the only ones doing what we are doing it's a collective effort of the body of christ but we have a contribution and a role to play this is i'm saying this because many people's salvation is at the mercy of what they hear this is the year that you will make up your mind that you're not going to come to the house of god alone you are not first for yourself and then to make up your mind that these my children who represent my future but are very very lazy and careless when it has to do with their spiritual growth i must begin to invest in their spiritual growth or your spouse who goes to the house of god and then leaves you behind or you leave your spouse behind to say no 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 it is as for me and my house remember the weakness of ignorance is where satan will attack from as for me i made up my mind this year that through all our arms of expression the school of ministry our external ministrations the sunday services and the media ministry and every 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 arm of expression we will give our best to see that within the jurisdiction of the grace and the assignment committed that we bring light first to you and then by expansion as a contribution to the body of christ as for me i've made up my mind and renewed my covenant with god that for me i will give my best it is up to you to make up your mind can i tell you this minimize some of this time of going around begging people shadow boxing and stay with god adopt the wisdom of mary mary was yes martha was running around trying to get things done and nothing happened because in this kingdom we rise by light it takes more than desire some of the teachings that god has put in my heart for me in fact it's, it's as if it's as if i should keep us here and sit us down and and just begin to teach indefinitely make up your mind to listen thank god for the power of the internet for those who are unable to directly be here you don't have an excuse from anywhere in the world you can connect and listen not just once listen again you can go back now and go and listen again to this message don't assume you understand and let me encourage pastors here please encourage your members to to listen this is not the year to ah preach preach up listen listen with the intention of growth Are we together make up your mind make up your mind whatever sacrifice you will make participate you can be here and yet not be here be here this year with your heart and your spirit and don't be distracted get something to write or get your device or whatever make up your mind when you go back home and god grants you the grace you can take a day or two with your loved ones if possible discuss the things that have been taught you will be surprised how many people sit in church and don't get anything that is taught you ask them what what did god say they say i was blessed and they never never become an expression of the word hallelujah let's wrap up In the name that is above all names father we have begun this year with you as a global family of faith and your people have come i have shared with them that which you put in my spirit lord i pray the anointing and the grace that makes for walking in the experience of marvelous light may that grace come upon you now may that grace come upon you now may that grace come upon you now 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ shame and reproach that has lingered around your life and destiny in this year 2022 I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead let it leave you like smoke before the wind I pray for your spiritual life every attack on your passion for God your passion for prayer your passion for the word your passion for the house of God in the name of Jesus I decree and declare rise above that limitation now hear me for anyone here who men have mocked you and said where is your God where is the evidence of your passion and your commitment this year may your results answer that question may your results answer that question in the name of jesus christ hear me jesus was speaking and said that the kingdom is like a woman who lost a coin and when she lost the coin the first thing she did was to get a candle and she lit that candle and started sweeping through that room when she swept that room she found the coin there are many things that are not in your life but are still within range there is a particular kind of light you need to put on and start sweeping that room i decree and declare the mystery and the revelation that controls restoration for what you have lost may that light come to you right now <laughs> hallelujah in acts chapter 12 the bible says as peter was bound bound hand in chain something happened to him there was a light that came into the prison that was the first thing that happened it was not just that the chains were were loosed light came into the prison are we together now and when light came there was liberty he walked out and he was free can i tell you this every prison financial spiritual whatever prison you found yourself in the lights that must shine in that prison and swing that door open may that light come to you now I decree and declare let there be a supernatural marking of the spirit upon you every manifestation of death I command it far from your habitation hear me and any devil of darkness on a campaign to kidnap you or kidnap any of your loved ones I stand by the God of my covenant may the earth open and swallow them for your sin hear me my Bible says now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means therefore I decree and declare 2022 find peace find peace find peace all your troublers i command them to leave you in peace leave you in peace spiritually physically financially i speak peace to your destiny in the name of jesus hear me every month has what is supposed to deliver in the name of jesus you will never carry over any prophetic blessing the blessing for january must come in january the blessing for february must come in february the blessing for march must come in march the blessing for april must come in april the blessing for may must come in may the blessing for june must come in june july must come in july august must come in august september must come in september october must come in october november must come in november december must come in december hear me the only thing permitted to happen in your life this year 
is speed not delay in the mighty name of jesus christ finally let me pray we pray for abuja the fct we pray for nigeria as our nation and africa we understand that we're in the middle of very turbulent times even as a nation can we stand in agreement and speak this is the federal capital territory we owe a responsibility of priesthood to speak over the nation he said give him no rest until he establishes jerusalem as a praise he calls us the light i didn't have the time i would have taught you that the whole goal of having light is so that you will eventually become the light not it does not just stop at the realm of having light you become the light stretch your hands prophetically to any direction and declare one minute over abuja declare over nigeria where are the priests and the watchmen decree and declare over this place we stretch our hands as rods of authority abuja hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus we declare peace we declare progress we declare safety and security of lives and property we pray for the government we pray for the house of assembly the senate we pray for all those who play different roles in this nation we declare wisdom upon them even at these turbulent times are you praying over this nation we pray for every region declare over nigeria we pray over the east the west we pray over the north in the name of jesus the south preserve your people oh god let the covenant of david that covenant of mercy speak across the six geopolitical zones in this nation we extend our prayer to the continent of africa in the name that is above all names we decree and declare preserve your elect preserve your people even in this season in the name of jesus christ now before i make the altar call let me just encourage you please listen to me this year i want to encourage you be very wise in the things you say whether physically or on social media make sure you are a christian don't go on social media and and plan fear and lamentations are we together within the jurisdiction of of this ministry i can charge you by the mercies of god make sure that whether you're on social media or wherever you are a life giver otherwise just just go and flog it out with god there is already palpable fear fear all around sounds of dismay mayhem all kinds of things there has to be a voice of hope rising if you must say something let it be something that can minister life and edification don't pride in selling conflict negative things all kinds of things strengthen the body of christ take advantage of the grace for wisdom he's given you you hear some disaster has happened somewhere why don't you send the scripture as your contribution over that situation lamenting and dissecting and ending there does not bring that 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 kind of transformation that people need there's already fear it will not come near you in the name of jesus now very quickly there are people here who have not surrendered their heart to jesus christ the first light that apostle paul as Saul encountered was Jesus himself he called himself the light please minimize movements I believe that there are people who came within this auditorium all the overflows and the so many following online you're saying apostle this is my moment I came with my heart open ready to hand over everything to Jesus or you are saying apostle I've given my life to Christ I remember but as it is i need to rededicate my life in truth if you belong to any of these two categories we have just one minute for you please i want you to leave your seat very quickly and come and stand right here let's appreciate them as they come very quickly god bless you as you come please clear the way for them if they are coming koinonia is this the best you can do this is our first service for the year come to jesus 
it's giving you a new beginning that light that ministers life come you don't have to kneel please stand because of space thank you please come celebrate them as they come our time is gone but let's honor them this is salvation hallelujah hallelujah now while while they are coming let's let's just allow a minute for them to come i i want to very specially appreciate i didn't have time to just um give salutations and appreciations because of our time but i want to very specially appreciate a dear friend a man of god all the way from the u.s apostle shola babalola god bless you sir and your dear wife you're not here alone god bless you thank you so much my pleasure good to see you and then to honor everyone uh the pfn the pfn youth are they here P yes pastor kotil and the team let's honor them our dear pfn people i love you thank you so much for what you do for jesus we're proud of you and we sincerely love you thank you pastor kotil and your team god bless you hallelujah every other person may the god bless you you will go from glory to glory in jesus name I thank all of you for making this bold decision to stand. You're not standing before a man. You're standing before Jesus himself, the captain of our salvation. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head and please say this after me very clear. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard that you are that light. I need you in my life. I ask you to forgive my sins. I ask that you give me a new beginning father cleanse me from all unrighteousness i receive eternal life into my spirit i decree and i declare that from tonight until forever i am a child of god a recipient of eternal life and the righteousness of god i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight i am born again i go forward ever and backward never amen please keep your hands lifted father we thank you and we honor you for these precious ones i pray by the power that raised christ from the dead that the power of sin is broken over your life by the mercy of god i declare that you go forward go from glory to glory grace to grace in jesus name i pray amen and amen please i want you to do well to follow the counselors they are waving their placards let's honor them as they go honor them as they go this way they'll spend just a few minutes with you and you'll be back to your seat please honor them very quickly let's take very two very quick announcements and then we're out of here again like i said earlier my apologies for the power outage by god's grace um, we'll make sure that all of these hitches are worked on very thoroughly in Jesus' name. Now, all workers, please listen very carefully. Um, we're delighted to announce that our, our first workers retreat, uh, it's actually a meeting, will hold on Tuesday, January the 18th. Please, all workers, January the 18th, that is Tuesday, at the Daughters of Abraham Auditorium. The time is 6.30 prompt. So please, all heads of department, do well to inform the workers so that we meet. We'll just have some time of prayer and appraisal. And then the security department. Um, by the way, commit yourself this year that you will not only come to the house of God, but as much as God grants you grace, you would also serve. Um, the security department is open to take in new members. The opening closes on wednesday so it's, it's a very brief um opening all those who want to be part of the security department you can go to the pr stand the pr stand is just um i think by my left or right after the main auditorium you can go there and wait to see your escorts or you can see any of the security personnel and tell them i'm interested and they will guide you on what to do the protocol department also the gentlemen standing in suits the protocol department is open for new members. All interested persons should kindly meet any of the protocol representatives at the PR desk outside also. To officially announce that we have resumed prayers, 
the prayer department is glad to announce that prayer meeting has resumed officially and it will hold as usual tuesdays by 4 p.m you don't have to be a member of the prayer department our prayer meetings are opened um, you can come and just press in with them especially for new converts please do well to allow them come so that they can gain maturity and and begin their process for growth and development especially for those who want to be filled with the holy spirit with evidence of praying in tongues time is 4 p.m at the daughters of abraham auditorium so please we're reiterating one last time that we're not selling any material online let me encourage us please um, don't let anyone take advantage of this that we have done to sell any material online i don't know sorry sorry about it fear not huh? <laughs> praise god i don't know how i don't know how um they plan to distribute the stickers maybe on your way out but whatever it is just be patient even if you can't get it now i'm sure that we'll do it again next sunday praise the name of the lord thank you please rise on your feet thank you okay i'm told that the ushers ushering team the ushering team are also open for new intakes you can also wait by the PR stand and indicate that you're waiting for ushers. Praise the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you for tonight. We bless you for the privilege to spend this wonderful time in your presence and for the things we have learned. Indeed, we declare as a global family that this is our year of marvelous light. Lord, it begins to speak in our lives immediately. In Jesus' name I pray. Your week is blessed. I decree and declare that you will see the light of God and all the blessings that come with light will follow you this week in Jesus name I pray after the grace do well to greet someone and prophesy to them that is their year of marvelous light the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit let it rest and abide with us now and forever amen God bless you see you on Sunday 5 p.m. dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.